make this part two. Um, how do we deal with IO devices here? So you probably see that, remember, so far we have covered coils, you know, very basic Boolean values, right? Coils, outputs, inputs here. Now I want to deal with IO link. So with IO link, there is also some Boolean values, right? So what I can do is if I look at the specifically the application note for this device, for this motor, I want to see what does that motor need to move, to extend and retract. So I open this document, IOLink interface description for simplified motion series, that's how that's called, and I go to page 12. Here I had the process data. So this process data tells me that the motor is gonna has just like five bytes, right, of inputs. One's gonna tell me when it's retracted, when it's here retracted, extended, if it's moving, if it is present or if it's enabled, and if it's at intermediate uh, at an intermediate position. Then the process data on the outputs is gonna be move in. So if I wanted to execute a retract, if I wanted to execute an extend. Clear an error, this is not used, and this is to move to an intermediate position. So let's give that a try. The one gacha with this particular device on IO Link is that there is some byte swapping, okay? And I'll show you how we can determine that. So um, let's go, let me, what is this, an input? Okay, let me go back to the outputs. I know that the IOLink device is going to start all the way up here because if we were to see this mapping, we can see that all of these bits are the valve manifold, then these are just some additional outputs that I have on this module. There are actually four outputs down here. But after those, as you can see here, the 40th bit is where I start with my IOLink device, and this is port zero, where I'm connected right now. So, bit 40, right? Okay. So, right here is my, my, my 40th bit. So, this goes from 1409 to 1448. This is my 40th bit. So, now I'm going to say monitor, and this is the first byte, right? This is the fir very first bit from, so this is this, this bit 40. I know for a fact that the bytes are swapped. So this process data is not going to start from here, from here. This process data is actually going to start from bit 8, okay? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the first byte. The second byte is 8. So I'm going to go and go down to, so this is the first bit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is my first bit. This is actually this one. But right now I have a fault. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a, a red LED here. Uh, this is actually flashing as well. And there's a red LED on the device as well. I'm going to clear that error. And I'm going to clear it by using this third bit, quit error, or clear error. So one, two, and three, I'm going to clear that error. And now you probably see that, uh, hold on, no, the error didn't go away. Why is that? Let's see. Let's see what is the error actually, AP. AP module disconnected. So did I, maybe when I was moving everything, yes, I think this connection was too loose. How did I figure that out? That's the beauty of this architecture. I think when I was moving everything around, you know, I was, at one point I was connecting the jumper and everything. I think I, I, I disconnected one of the modules. They weren't connected properly. So let me plug this back in. And, um, let me, uh, I'll do a power cycle on this now to clear that error quickly. Let's see if the modules come back on. 
So there, disconnected. Okay, that's good. Uh, I still have an error. This is a this is an error that I have on my particular uh, setup. You don't have to worry about this. This would would not happen to you. Uh, okay, I, I once again have that error. No longer this module. So now it's not that it's not telling me that the AP or one module was disconnected. It's actually telling me that telling me that an IO link there's an IO link event, and that's because this this motor is disconnect is uh, yeah it has an error on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clear that, that error again from from Fanuc. So let's see where is it? Navigate to the teach pendant. Let me close this. Uh, I don't know why it times out, but anyways, that doesn't matter. Uh, type digital, type digital, and then config here, monitor, and then we said that we have to go down eight bits to the second byte. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is our first bit. And then we also said that we have to clear that error with the third bit. So this is the first bit. One, two, three. Let's clear that error. And voila. I actually see that there's no longer an error here. I, my device is also happy, this one here. And if I was to see the topology, now that IO link error went away. This is exactly what we wanted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first two bits to extend and retract. So right now I'm going to move in because it's not home right now. So I'm going to toggle this off and then move up, toggle this on so it retracts. And let me switch the view so you can see. I'm going to toggle it on now. You saw a very slight move there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next bit, which is the extent. And I'm going to set it to on. Right now it's on and you can see the actuator moving. Perfect. I can send it back on. Now you see the actuator moving back, right? Now the same thing with this is these are the outputs, right? But if we go to the inputs, I'm going to go to the outputs. I'm going to toggle it in and quickly change to the input so you can see the change on the inputs. Okay? So that is how you can do this topology connect CPX API over Ethernet AP, and add a bunch of different modules. Right now on my setup, I have a few modules. You can have up to 80 modules, so you can have more valve manifolds. You know, you could have 10 valve manifolds. You could have three IO link masters with four ports each, and so on. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, I definitely had some fun setting this up. Feel free to drop any comments um, in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer questions. Also, um, we can connect on LinkedIn. Look me up. I try to, uh, you know, post some interesting, uh, interesting content every now and then. All right. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye. -bye.